Hey guys, so today is July the 8th. I have just bought myself some stuff for the hamster, some new toys, new treats, a new house and some sawdust and potty litter. So I'm going to go home now and I will show you all the bits and pieces that I got and I'm also going to order some pizza for lunch. Okay, time to quickly share with you what I got from the pet store. So. I've got some sawdust, which you will see in this back here. I've got a medium bale, so hopefully that will last me a fair few months. And then toy-wise, I got another straw, grassy straw tunnel, because I found that Cookie really, really enjoyed the previous one. And then I got some more cage cleaning disinfectant spray because I'm running fairly low on that and then I got some more potty litter for his toilet and then I got this apple and oatmeal cake looks pretty nice and yeah there's like two pieces of that so I'll give that a little try and then I've got loads of sticker sticks because I found that he really, really liked them. And these are on a three for six pound deal. And in the pack there's two, so this will hopefully last me a few months as well. So this one is apple and apricot. Sounds really nice. Then I got raisin and plum right here. And then I got a one with popcorn on it, which I had the first time and he really liked that. And then I got one here, which is very colourful. This one pretty much is full of like lots of vitamins and it's sugar free as well. And I just thought, yeah, this is cool. So I get that one. And then I got these trees, which are new in. They are called Immunity Care. So it's got Echinacea in it, which is really good for the immune system. And then I got one which is Odocat. And this one contains omega-3 and apparently it helps control cage odours. So, who knows. Then I got some cookie drops for hamsters. And I also got some more yogi drops because he really likes those. I like giving those as treats. And then I got some of this which I'm going to give a try. This is a dried nibble wild forage mix red corn flowers and sunflower petals encourages natural behavior and perfect as a food topper so I thought that would be really good to use when I got some more cage cleaning wipes because that's what I run out of and then I got this natural play and bedding pod so they're like bananas <laughs> but they're seed pods from the kapok tree and they will remove the soft silk fluffy fibres from the pod and use them to create a cosy bed and then they can eat the seeds and the pod which is not to their heart's content and apparently it's really good for hamsters, mice and gerbils so this is brand new as well so I thought I'd give that a try and then I got a new little home for him for like the summer which is a hide coconut pod which I thought was really cool and yeah, it's like all natural and yeah, so I thought that'd be really, really cool. And it's made from coconut shell and it's a comfortable place and it feels like it'll be a quite a cool sort of home and nice and aired out. And then the last thing I got is a sunshine munch, which basically contains corn, peas and carrots and he absolutely loves sweet corn and he loves carrots and yeah peas as well he actually takes out so this would be a really really good food topper as well so this would be good too so yes loads of new stuff 
all together. I had a 10% off voucher and I managed to get it for like £46. Not too bad considering they were like a couple of pounds each. I'm not going to be going probably for another while because I've got enough for a few months. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with all of these. So I put some things inside this cage and I think it's safe to say that he's really happy. Especially this. He's having a good time having a nipple. That'd be really good for his teeth. And the stickle stick is in. Hamster mix is in with the food top up. I've given him a couple of the treats to try. And I'll put these three things in Wednesday when I has a clean and here I created a new treaty jar so in here we've got biscuits the new treats yogurt drops chalky drops doggy biscuits and digestive biscuits monkey nuts all that sort of thing so little treats for him and the fruit top-ups will just stay there so yeah I think he's he's very really happy 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 <laughs> Hello, it is Tuesday. Just gonna quickly update you on everything that has happened. So yesterday I went to Pets at Home, as you were aware, I showed you the bits and pieces I got. And then I pretty much watched when we were done. I updated my diary, which I'm gonna do in a second. And then I went off to my rehearsal in the evening. I wasn't needed until nine o'clock, so I went in then. We ran through the show, and then I came home, and I knew when I fell asleep. <laughs> so today I was at work, I worked a 10 to 8 p.m. shift, and I wake up this morning, nine o'clock, or half eight, and then I pretty much kind of slowly just got up, and then I went to work. My work had a barbecue, at work from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. so I was there for some of that and then I went for a, a little walk and then in the evening I washed up at work did the washing up and then I made sure everything was sorted for tomorrow and then I pretty much went home at 8 so I've not been long here it's coming up to quarter to nine now and since being home I drove to my nan's I gave her the cake tins back because she gave me two cakes for this barbecue and then she gave me some food shopping basically little bits of milk because I got some last night when I came home from rehearsal and I saw little Willie which you guys saw and then I've pretty much opened all windows because the flat is really stuffy where no windows have been open all day. Cookie's kind of awake, he's been running around a little bit. I've got dressed, I'm in my shorts and vest top now. So I just wanted to edit another video. I've got quite a few videos I need to edit. I've got my Did I Mention I Love You review, the Harry Potter Studio Tour Hall, my June wrap up my Super Venom and Me review, my You review, and then I've got some weekly vlogs to edit. Got my reading vlog from June, and my weekly vlogs from June and the beginning of July. So, yeah, I've got three from June and one in July at the moment. So, that's five six seven eight nine ten videos so i need to get a crack on really and i'm thinking of doing i'm thinking of editing a review because i need to get the reviews up before the wrap up so that i can link them in the wrap up so yeah i'm gonna do those i think in reading order so either you or did I mention I love you 
I think I knew enough read them in the same time, so I think I'll do Did I Mention I Love You? And then I'll do You, and then I'll do Super Better Than Me, and then I can do the June wrap up. But I need to do some weekly reading vlogs, so I think tonight I will edit the Did I Mention I Love You of You, and then. Probably not tomorrow, it depends if I've got time. If not, then I'll do it Thursday. But Thursday I will edit the weekly reading vlog and I'll let that upload. And then I can, or I might just do some video editing so I can let them upload during the night sort of thing, which is normally what I do. So I could do that, but either way, 10 videos behind. And I haven't done a reaction video in a while and I've got those piled up. So I need to get cracking. So plans for the evening. Just want to edit this video. And then I'm thinking of watching one episode of The Society on Netflix. And I'm really excited guys because the after movie is going to be on Netflix on Friday. And I'm totally going to watch it because I'm off work on Friday. So I'm really excited. I have started listening to the Hate You Give on audiobook but I'm kind of like drifting in and out of it so audiobooks just aren't working for me lately the past two three weeks they're just they're just not working I've got a lot going on here and I just I'm not focusing enough so I think I just I need to, if I'm going to listen to an audiobook, I need to listen to an audiobook and read it as well. So, like, listen to it and then go over it, reading it when I get home sort of thing. So, yeah, so I want to watch an episode of something on Netflix or possibly a movie. I, I'm in the middle of so many books, but this month already I've got one, two, three, three books that I'm in the middle of. I'm just not satisfied. I think I'm in a little bit of a reading funk. But it's weird because I'm enjoying reading, but I'm not in the mood to read. I mostly have to be like, right, let's read. But right now, I'm just like, mm, edit video, watch a TV show. Same time as well. I'm thinking of doing it at the same time. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, get myself some juice and start getting these bits done and then hopefully I'll do some reading before bed but I'm back in work tomorrow 8 in the morning and then I've got the rehearsal in the evening just need to get cracking really just need to get cracking so I'm gonna head off now get those bits done I will keep you updated hopefully tomorrow I'll let you know what I managed to get up to and my plans for that day <laughs>
18th of July and I've fallen ill. I started getting a well Wednesday evening and then I went to work Thursday and well and then I was sick at work Thursday but I like pushed through the last hour of my shift and then I was sick during the night and the early morning of Friday so I had to call in sick Friday and yesterday it was the women's singles final and men's doubles final of Wimbledon and I was watching that whilst like running to the toilet like coughing like mad yesterday I just didn't stop coughing and then today I woke up and the coughing started again as soon as I was awake and I was like brilliant I was all bunged up and everything and like I went to the toilet and then like I was just like ugh and um, came back here had a big bottle of water and then I started like coughing like mad again to the point where I had to run to the toilet tears were streaming down my eyes from all the coughing and it was just like Thursday night again and I was like brilliant so I'm just gonna see how I go today I'm meant to be due back in work tomorrow but if I'm still the same like tonight slash tomorrow morning I'm gonna have to call in again because it's just it's just it sucks so there's the way it is I got given some tablets on Friday because I rang the doctors because my throat was in so much pain that it was hard to swallow and I didn't want it to turn into tonsillitis so she checked me over and she just said my throat looked very very red and sore so she's given me a Lansat Brussel I think it's cool because she's gonna go the route of in case there's something causing this cough and that isn't a bug like when I cough up something that's causing the mucus and the build up like because for me I always feel like there's something there and where I have been coughing like mad it does bring up a like stomach acid and yeah it's gross sorry <laughs> but yeah so she's going the route of that and then I'm taking that for a month and she said if it goes with the tablets then that was the issue but she said if with the tablets that it comes back again then they're gonna go the route of like examining me if I've got this bug that which sounds more like it makes more sense because it seems like I get unwell and then it goes and then I get unwell and then it goes like every month I've been ill with something either that or if I have this bug it just comes back again and then it goes dormant and then it comes back so it's never fully like gone sort of thing so don't know really but I'm just laying here I was about to read I got my kindle ready but it's getting close to 9 o'clock in the morning it's so early and I'm kind of like dozing off so I'll probably like have another little nap soon but yeah I just wanted to update you on everything that's gone on did a load of video editing yesterday like I literally like filmed and edited loads of video that feels really good but I'm just behind in my vlogging so yeah but I didn't really want to vlog with being ill even though I'm kind of ill now and I look like a hot mess but yeah I just wanted to update you guys so I'm gonna head off now probably doze off and I'll speak to you guys soon